tell you what, laddie. I fear no horde. But that thing... It scares me. No, no, I ain't talking about that no life, okay? He's not here, is he? How do I get this thing off? One shudders to imagine what inhuman thoughts lie behind that monitor. What dreams of chronic and sustained cruelty. Horrifying, right? I think we've all been there. You decide to play on a PvP server because, well, PvP is fun. But what isn't fun about PvP servers is the ganking. That's why in this video we'll be going over six tips on how you can avoid getting ganked. Number one is a big one. Try to slightly outlevel the zones you're going into. This is probably most evident for Stranglethorn Vale because this zone is really well known for its world PvP. Anyone who goes to Stranglethorn Vale as a fresh level 30 is going to be fresh meat for everybody else. Consider going into less contested zones beforehand, so when you enter the war zone at around level 33 or 34, people will actually perceive you as a threat rather than a free kill. I'm not saying places like Hillsbrad are totally safe zones, but there's a difference between, hey, there's some alliance in that cave, and oh my god, there's 15 alliance at Nessingwary Camp. If you're going in as a low level, try and group up with other players. Ganking two people is a lot harder than ganking one. Even if you're a high level, try and group up. A friend to watch your back is always loved. And uh, I guess that's tip number two, huh? So uh, tip number two is to group up with other players. Tip number three is to use your positioning and your camera to your advantage. Now this is pretty easy, just don't be clueless. In these densely packed zones, you should always be looking around to make sure you don't see any red nameplates in the distance. If you do, keep track of them and make sure those damned horde aren't up to something nefarious. <laughs> Positioning to help break LOS of any evildoers so they can't see you in the first place is also a good idea. Killing a mob when you're hugging a wall is much safer than just standing in the middle of a field where everybody can see you. Number three is to use your class abilities to ward off enemies. First off, try to not use your big cooldowns fighting mobs in zones where you feel like you're in danger of enemy players. Running away from a botched pole and saving those big cooldowns and using them for PvP will be much more helpful and save you a corpse run. There are also certain classes that are absolutely great at avoiding PvP. Hunters have track humanoids, they have Aspect of the Cheetah, they have Freezing Trap and Flare that they can place on themselves just in case of rogues, and they also have Feign Death, but... You know, that never works. Druids are also basically designed to avoid getting ganked because of travel form, nature's grasp, entangling roots, and most importantly, stealth and kitty form. Stealth is probably the most powerful ability to engage or disengage from combat, and there's also some cool tricks you can do with it as well. Let's take this random canyon in Desolus, for example. So in this narrow passageway, you can stealth through all of these mobs so that anybody that is trying to kill you will actually have to fight through these mobs to get to you. You can even do this if you don't have stealth, just kill the mobs and stay in that area killing mobs and eventually they'll start to respawn and they can sort of be used as a barrier for other players while you focus on killing mobs in this area. But really there's a little bit of something every class can do that gives them the upper hand to stop them from being ganked, even if it's minor. Except for warriors. You can just die. This tip is actually to kill other players but it will save you from getting killed by those players in the future. In a study from Harvard University, it was proven that 90% of ganks happen in questing areas. You'll find lots of brawls happening in big areas where both factions need to go to for quests. So for example, like the Pirate Cove in Tenaris. There's always this tense moment where there's two enemy parties in the same area and are just on the brink of competing for mobs. Everybody knows there's a brawl that's about to start, it's just a matter of when.
flossing. Shut the fuck up, I will fucking laser you with alien fucking eyes and explode your fucking head. tip here is you can engage in combat just know throughout your whole time questioning in this area it will continue to be a war zone because people love to keep grudges don't get me wrong pvp grudge matches can be a lot of fun but just keep in mind that you'll be questing a lot slower because of it that is why i always follow an ancient pandaren proverb one does not shit where they quest Hey, fat ass. Hey, hey, you're in the wrong game. I, uh, oh, yes, sorry, sorry. If you're gonna murder the opposite faction, wait till you're done with your quest. Then you can just murder them and get away scot-free as you run off into the distance. Cowardly? Yeah, probably. Smart? Definitely. Number five is kind of a cop-out tip because, let's be honest, you can run from it, but you're gonna get killed by the enemy faction at some point. And you're gonna get camped by another player, so I'd recommend just logging off for a couple of minutes and doing something else. Some ideas include sleeping, pondering life's problems, pretending classic still isn't out, cry, you could subscribe to Platinum WoW, um, please, 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 or you could play Retail WoW. Okay, well maybe I went a bit overboard with that last one. What I'll be doing if I run into a camping problem is I'll just play an alt, a bank alt specifically. Bank ults are typically level 1 characters your main character can mail all their valuable materials to. This stops from having your main character have to run all the way over to a major city to store all your stuff. Instead, you can just mail all of your goodies over to a bank alt whenever you find a mailbox on your travels. While on my alt, I can organize all my mats, throw stuff up on the auction house, and eventually, after 5 minutes or so, my mortal enemy will probably be gone. Our ancestors be praised! So just save your frustration and just log out for a bit and try and do something else productive. Our last tip is unique to how Classic WoW is going to function. In Phase 2, the PvP system will be out, meaning that people will be killing as many players on the opposite faction as possible to rank up. This wouldn't be a problem, except for, well, there's no battlegrounds in Phase 2. So that means that world PvP will be absolutely insane, and zones will be utter bloodbaths. Get your ass back here! So my suggestion is to get level 60 before phase 2. We don't know exactly when phase 2 will start, but my guess would be 3-5 to five months, but that's just a total guess. The most intense zones are going to be the ones where players are in their 50s, because max level players can still get honor from them. You don't need a speed level, just realize that if you're on a PvP server, you kind of have a deadline before your life is going to be a miserable experience. Now when Battlegrounds actually come out, this probably won't be a problem anymore. Just in Phase 2, it's just going to be a really, really rough time. So those are my 6 tips to help you from getting murdered while on your adventures in Azeroth. There are a lot more tips I can make in this video, and some of them include playing on a PvE server, bribe the enemy player base, don't be a streamer, be a streamer, don't play at all, and never leave the starting zone. Anyway, I hope some of these tips helped you, I hope you don't get ganked in Azeroth, and if you do, please refrain from punching your monitor. I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm fucking dead. Yeah, there's nothing I can Getting offline, Yikes. guys. Later. Hey yo, what up? Thanks for watching my little video. And thank you to my patrons, and you already know who they are. It's B. Cohen, it's Astio, it's Mixbazitron, it's Muwaki, it's Juden Laster, it's Caleb Biglin, it's Lagging Balls, it's Happytron, it's Half Finnis, it's Gurkha Blue Moon, it's MKP Mods, and it's For the Horde. And thank you to all of these other people too. All of your guys' support is super appreciated, and you can support me too if you visit the link down in the description. Thank you for watching this video. There's going to be one more video before Classic release, and it's going to be a big one. So stay tuned, subscribe, and then uh, like this one too. And uh, I will see you soon.